All right, so solving two-step equations uh, is like yesterday, solving one-step equations. You're just doing one step and then another step. Uh, this uh, assignment has 10 problems, but I'm going to do the first two as notes, and then you're going to do numbers 3 through 10, okay? So let's look at number 1. If I'm solving this, I see I have a variable n okay, over on the right side, and there are two things I need to get rid of, a 4 and a minus 5 right here's the deal you got to know what to get rid of first and I always get rid of what I call the loner okay the loner is not four four and n are buddies they're right next to each other but out here by itself we have the loner negative five so what I'm gonna do is first get rid of the loner the minus five what's the opposite of minus five plus five so I put plus five here and on the other side of the equal sign, plus 5. Okay, not underneath 4n. Okay, so the minus 5 and plus 5 cancel out. 3 plus 5 over here is 8. It equals 4n. Bring that down. And then your last step, so now you've done one step, it's time to do your second step to get rid of that 4 in front of n. Remember 4 and n, that's a coefficient. That means there's a dot there, that means they're being multiplied. You got to think what's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing by 4. All right, so 8 divided by 4 is 2. Bring down n. So n equals 2. Okay, that's a two step problem. Let's do it on number 2. Same idea. We want to get rid of the loner first. The loner is minus 7, right? Because it's 2 and n are a coefficient. Those are together, but the minus 7 is alone. So to get rid of that loner, minus 7, we do the opposite. We do plus 7 on the left side of the equals and on the right side of the equals. Keep it equal. So the minus 7 and plus 7 cancel out. 2n equals 11 plus 7 is 18. And to get rid of that 2, we divide. And we get n equals 18 over 2, which is 9. Okay, and that's it. Basically, as you're doing these, you're going to do 3 through 10, okay, and you're going to turn that in.